Sunday, people. Welcome back to Artist Spotlight Sunday. As you know, Artist Spotlight shines the light on artists in front of and behind the music scenes that keep all the wheels turning to bring us the music we love. Today, I bring you one from behind the scenes, a sound engineer. I also consider this a form of art because it takes a certain finesse to do this and to do it right. The sound engineer is responsible for recording, editing, mixing, and mastering tracks so they present the best performance consistent with the artist's vision. The person you are going to hear about today is one of the best in this field. I'm honored to know him personally and lucky to have him bless my last releases, Here I Am and Moon Over Shanghai. I've never known anyone so humble, and I'm convinced that if there are angels on earth, he is definitely one of them. I told him that people need to hear his journey because believe it or not, all I'm about to tell you today only scratches the surface of accomplishments this man has achieved, and I'm honored to tell you a part of it. So today I introduce to you multi-instrumentalist, sound engineer, and recording artist, Mr. Todd Wilson. He has had an extensive and exciting journey. So let's go. Todd was born and raised in New Jersey's music mecca, Asbury Park. He is the youngest of five brothers, and as kids, they made musical instruments using pots, pans, kitchen utensils, and whatever else they could find around the house. His dad played guitar, and Todd remembers how his dad would sit and strum in the house and on the porch. He was intrigued by his dad's guitar and music. When he was seven years old, he was caught one day playing his dad's guitar, which he was told not to touch. His father, although very stern and adamant about not touching the guitar, was also impressed with Todd's playing. Not too long after that incident, he gifted Todd with his first guitar. As a young boy, Todd remembers great bands such as the infamous Ohio Players and George Benson. They often came into town performing in well-known clubs in Asbury Park, such as the Turf Club and the Orchid Lounge. Since he was too young to go into the clubs, he would peek in the doors and windows to see who was playing and listen from outside. At a young age, Todd was playing the guitar, bass, keyboards, and other instruments. He credits his music teacher, Lou Parisi, for encouraging him to practice and to play bass in the high school choir. As a graduation gift, Mr. Parisi allowed Todd to play with his band, the Smooth Sailing Orchestra, for which Todd was such a major honor. Right after high school graduation, Todd found himself in boot camp after early enlistment into the Air Force. After boot camp, he was sent to the March Air Force Base in California. He worked there as a ground radio operator and later had an opportunity to cross-train and become assigned as part of the air crew flying on the Airborne Command Post out of Biloxi, Mississippi. After a four-year enlistment, he returned home and he gained employment as a civilian with the U.S. Army at Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. He worked there as an electronic technician where he remained for 10 years. It was at this time Todd got back into the music world and began rehearsing with the group Gunter Phillips, ultimately recording their first album, One, Two, Three, Love. Later in the 80s, Lamar Mitchell, who happens to be Stevie Wonder's right-hand man and good friend, asked Todd to sit in for the bass player at a gig for a band. Much to his surprise, it ended up being The Persuaders. Afterward, Todd became the music director for and played with the renowned New Jersey soul singing group Pizzazz. They performed up and down the Jersey Shore for quite a few years doing R&B and Motown tunes. Later, Todd opened a small recording studio in the basement of a building on Cookman Avenue in Asbury Park. It was named Corner Pocket Studios. After a couple moves to bigger and better places, he changed the name to Fat Track Studios. There, among countless recordings, he composed a music track that was made famous by the Manhattans called Lady I've Been Waiting For. 
With all of this going on, it never stopped him from applying to the Asbury Park Police Department, where he was accepted. And it was during these years that Todd was also the sound engineer for the annual Asbury Park Jazz Festivals and did the sound for several performances at the Paramount Convention Hall and other Asbury Park venues for artists such as James Brown, Earth, Wind & Fire, Wyclef, Clarence Carter, Deep Purple, Pieces of a Dream, Ray Charles, and India Irie. Also, the Rippingtons, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, Lil Kim, and the Count Basie Orchestra. Todd and a longtime family friend, Chico Rouse, the son of world-renowned saxophonist Charles Rouse, collaborated when Chico opened his Asbury Park Jazz Club, Chico's House of Jazz. Countless famous musicians performed there, such as Gloria Gaynor, Bernard Purdy, Bob Baldwin, Bobby Blue Bland, Alex Bunyong, Mindy Abir, Stanley Jordan, Richard Smith, Nelson Rangel, Angie Bofill, Will Calhoun, and Chuck Lowe. Todd later performed with Jersey Shore renowned saxophonist Tommy LaBella and guitarist Frankie Sakala at Bum Rogers. Clancy's, and Jack's. And can you believe with all of this, Todd was still working as a police officer. He finally retired as captain in 2018 after 27 years on the force at the Asbury Park Police Department. As of 2020, Todd has been focusing more on recording and production in his home studio, Fat Tracks. I mean, he already was soaring high. Why not release three singles? My favorite, Doing the Duke, was released in 2021. Lady I've Been Waiting and What a Good Woman Is were both released in 2022. In 2023, Todd continues to mix and master projects remotely for other artists and is currently working on another single. So there you have it. Well, not all of it, but enough to know that the brightest spotlight is definitely well-deserved. I want to thank you for joining me on his amazing journey. Make sure you follow the links in the caption to check out his music and social media info. Until next time, hugs and love. Thank you.